itself is around five acres. And what the request is is to cut out a two acre portion for what we anticipate to be a friend's department store. So at the end of the day, if the commission so continues with this rezoning request and approves it, then you'll end up with a two acre piece for the Freds on the southern portion of the property and a remainder three acre piece um, that cannot access Mulligan Road. They will either have to come back to the commission or wait for an adjacent property owner to buy it. So at the end of the day, I just want to make sure that the commission understands that we're dealing with a piece of property, but it's really two portions. Um, but with that, staff looked at the impacts from both of those pieces, and uh, along with the Planning Commission public hearing, where only the applicant's agents vote for it and recommended for approval. We have those notes down, and I don't have any updates for you at this time, uh, other than I do anticipate the applicant's agent there at the meeting tomorrow, but I would offer that to the commission as it's uh, ready to move forward. Any questions? Yes. Um, in your uh, memo to uh, Commissioners, you said that uh, they had already recently been awarded a variance uh, for the uh, Bemis North Porter Road overlay. Yes, sir. What was the variances they were allowed on that? Ms. Carmel, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was for some of the parking standards. We have parking design standards when you go into a corridor overlay and also the width of the lot. We require a wider lot on a busier road, basically. And I believe those are both successful. But yes, sir, if you have specific questions, Ms. Carmella was at that meeting on it and did not handle that particular case. Okay. Um, any other questions? Ms. Davenport, 2010, Conference.